Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from The Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you today. Just a couple of disclaimers. Our neighbor's dog, it's nine o'clock at night and our neighbor's dog is going insane. So if you hear barking. It's not our dog. I so much apologize. We have zero control over that. So the other thing is please don't mind our water bottles this week. Um, the I zaps, mean, the za uh, was it the zapped? Sun, the the sun, sun zapped, zapped us. Yes. Yeah. And I had some exposure to uh, something I'm allergic to today. And so the back of my tongue is all full of blisters. So if I sound funny, I apologize. I'm trying to get words out. Yes. So um, please don't mind us drinking on camera. Sorry. I know I did that last week too, but. I mean, there's some floss tubers that drink on camera and I totally i am down with it. Dude, can we have wine? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not like Mountain Dew. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Wonder who that is. <laughs> um, um, and that's not a dig. We, no. I mean, I think it's funny. Yeah. So. Uh, had a good week. I had a great week. Had a busy week. Yeah, you went back to work. Went back to work for two days, off three, and then went back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah. Yesterday wasn't a work day, really. I was in front of the grill for like six, seven hours. That must be nice. It was really nice and my employees loved it. Yeah. And that's great to hear. The kids and I went to my parents um, basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but we came home Friday night. Um, we went to their town strawberry festival. It was so awesome. So awesome. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we just kind of hung out at their house. My mom and yeah. I got a little bit of, well, I got a little bit of stitching done. You're My the mom only did person got stitching done. A tiny bit of stitching, but that was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, just relaxing to let the kids run around the yard and play. It rained a lot. It stormed a lot here. And so, um, I don't know, we kind of went in and out as we wanted to. Yes. So. It was yeah. good. It was good. It was, good it was productive. It was, uh, yeah. kind of a good break to ease back in from vacation and yeah um it was a good time to spend with the boys and, and mm -hmm. things like that and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was good yep uh, we're nearing the end of mania we're sad and relieved yes feeling mixed emotions about that but we have some really fun things planned for june yeah. um so yeah we're kind of getting there yeah so we'll get into mania a little bit later um and kind of our progress or lack thereof, and we'll kind of discuss our future plans. But first, um, 24 hours of cross stitch is coming up quickly. We both just realized it's in like a week and a half. Yup. And we're um, so, <laughs> I'm really I feel like I'm it. going to do pre 24 hours of cross stitch. Why? Uh, like today and tomorrow, and I kind of oh. go, go into uh, my workings and progress. I feel like uh, if you ever like procrastinate on an exam, you know, like I really need to finish this paper. That's exactly how I feel <laughs> uh, tonight and tomorrow. Strong. So yeah, it's yeah. But 24 hours of cross stitch is gonna be fun because we have to look at our schedule and see what we're gonna work on because there's yeah. a lot of things we're doing together. Yeah. Um, Which we'll also kind of get into in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. So it's um. I feel like I'm talking so funny. Um. So yeah, we're pretty like pretty pumped about what's coming in June. 24 hours of cross stitch things like that. I don't think we're going to go anywhere for 24 hours because of some other things, but I, I think if anything, we'll go to my grandpa's and Ooh. that way we're kind of away from the house for those oh, few days. Okay. Um, and the kids can right. play as much as they want to and we'll stitch, um, for those 24 hours in 48. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, <laughs> You can head over to Jen Lee here on uh, YouTube's Floss Tube, and her and her mother kind of cr came up with this idea of 24 hours of cross stitch, just kind of like a 24 it's hours, like, a lock -in. like yes, like a lock-in style stitching. Right. Um, this is the first one that they're doing that is 24 hours of cross stitch in 48 hours, and so um, I'm pretty pumped out. This is the first one we're going to participate in. And yep. I've like seen such good things about everybody doing it in uh, months prior. And doing so. it their own way. Yes. Like it, there's always a spin to it or mm -hmm. a twist. And I'm um, really excited to see what, uh, what other people are doing. And comment below yeah. if you are doing it. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same days that we're doing it. 
Uh, right. But you know, comment below what you if you've done it, if you want to do it, and are you yeah. planning on doing it? Yeah. Um, because we. I don't know if books. I said it's June seventh, eighth, and ninth. Yep. So it's twenty four hours in forty eight hours. So she explains it so much better. So definitely head over to her channel. We'll try and link it down below again. Right. Um, because yeah, she does explain it so much better since she is the mastermind behind that. Yes. So. I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last week in our costume. It's clean though. It's yes, I haven't been wearing the same. I might look like I've been probably wearing the same thing every day. That's not true. But but I haven't. Y'all, it has been a week. Yes. It has been. It's actually been a great week. It's like there's nothing medical. No. Nothing no. medical. So it's a great week. Yeah. Just exhausting. Yes, we like normal life. <laughs> yes, we consider a week out of the doctor's office or hospital a great week yes. and we didn't have either one of those things this week nope. so uh, we do this coming week but it's all pre-planned yes all and good. so we're okay so 24 hours of cross stitch definitely head over to Jen Lee check that out let us know if you're participating um, so we can uh, kind of connect with you and do it uh, together yeah do it together so um, next thing yes so we kind of uh, pre-announced this on our last floss tube and um, we got some pretty big excitement out of our pre-announcement. Um, we told you all, we introduced you, now I can't find it. We introduced you to a pattern last week yes. that we said, um, y'all might want to purchase this and kind of stay tuned for some more information on a stitch along with us. So um, this is Home for the Holidays by Sue Hillis Designs. We are absolutely elated that we're going to be doing Christmas in July. So I told you all last floss tube that you needed to go ahead and get your hands on this pattern because we were going to be doing it very, very soon. And now we can finally announce that we will be doing this sew along as Christmas in July. Y'all, yes. I am so excited that we picked a Christmas pattern. We are going to be putting up our Christmas tree and doing some really fun things throughout that month. Um, I've got a new line of quilting fabric that has come out for Christmas and I'll be sharing that with you a little bit later, but we're going to be making a quilt out of that through our tutorials for that month. We're going to be doing floss tubes with our stitch along and just so many fun things planned for Big Christmas things. in July. And so um, we would love if you all would stitch along with us. We're going to start out very easy. We're going to start with this pattern with the radio flyer with the Christmas tree in it and the camper with, oh, up here, camper with all the uh, trees in the background. And so Tech Guy's gonna stitch one, I'm gonna stitch the other, and then we're gonna move on to some of these other things and really get to stitching on this pattern. I'm so excited and we hope that uh, many of you are gonna be able to stitch along with us and just kind of keep up with that. So we're so excited to be doing Christmas in July. I'm so pumped to be doing a stitch along. Yes. And a Long quilt overdue. along. Like, yes, if you're a quilter, we um, will be doing Christmas tutorials all yes. month long. And um, guys, we're so pumped. We've it's heard all you. Coming we're together. coming back on the tutorials on the quilting side, too. Yes. So, so um, we are going to be doing this. Tech Guy is going to do the DMC called Four Colors. And I'm going to be doing a week's dye work conversion. And um, you can get all of your supplies at Keepsakes. You can call and um, talk with Stephanie or Barbara and they can order and mail you everything. Um, I haven't told them that yet, so but I know they're gonna Oops. be absolutely happy to do so. Or um, we'll put some links in, down below for Fat Quarter Shop because I know uh, we heard y'all, a lot of you love to order from that because shop. Because you guys don't have a local needle Because workshop. you don't have a local needle workshop. And so we're gonna put all the links down below for you to get this pattern and the coordinating yep. flosses to do so. They weren't able to kit up anything for us, um, which is definitely unfortunate, but um, you guys are gonna be able to get all your stuff from there as well. I think the kits so, are are great just because it's everything mm -hmm. together and you're not searching for things, right? Yes. Um, but hopefully in the future, we will be working with uh, FQS on uh, some kits and things like that. So, but yes, yeah. your local needle shop uh, or fat quarter shop. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited about this pattern. It's so, so adorable. So comment down below, please, and let us know if you're going to stitch along with us. Yes. We are going to have so much fun with it. I'm going to have some of the models stitched up um, so you can see them beforehand. And um, yeah, 
So. We have a lot of stitching. Yes, we do have a lot. A lot of it's stitching. A, it's a good thing that we have 24 hours of cross stitch coming yes. up. Yes. So I'm so, just going to. As long as we have a plan of those 24 train. hours, yeah, yes. we'll be golden. Yes. So that is our Christmas in July, and yep. we're so pumped to finally yes. announce like exactly when it was going to be. Last time we told you what we were doing, this time we wanted to tell you exactly when it's going to be, and. I don't know. It's just going to be really, really fun. Yes. We're going to plan some fun giveaways, things like that, more floss tubes. Our typical, what we're planning on doing is a floss tube once a month, but um, during stitch alongs or mania things like this, then we will just be doing um, tutorials and things like yeah, that. Yeah, once a week. Yeah. So, pretty exciting. All right. Um, do you want to talk about whips? Hmm. Do you want to go whips. first or do you want me to go first? Uh, mine goes shorter, so I'll go first. Okay. This so, is just whips, not whips. anything else. Um, so, I know, I keep I keep promising you guys that I'm going to get almost there, but I am literally 50%-ish uh, done. Uh, I've got the, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. I've got the snow to come come through across, got another deer, uh, and then I've got the vines, uh, and then I'm pretty much done. So, I'm at the home stretch right now in this project. Uh, it's a lot of different colors for me, and uh, it's been it's been good. Uh, but Merry Christmas, my dear! It's actually written out, like it's actually stitched out. Yeah. Uh, I had to make some modifications because I don't know how to count squares sometimes. <laughs> uh, so I've you know altered the pattern. Yes. Uh, but I think it's I cute, I am I am like halfway there, and I've got tonight and tomorrow to come in like it's like I'm procrastinating on an exam or writing a paper. Literally, we're waiting to the last <laughs> moment to get this thing done. So that's how so I feel fun. right now. Yeah. Um, but I'm pumped. Um, I wanted to get the, st the the wording done, so I know it's like it's there. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's where I'm at. I've got the vine underneath, but tonight I want to finish the snow and the other deer um, and the two trees. That's what I want to do tonight. So I have a lot of hustle to do, and then tomorrow uh, so and then do the the vines and then be done. So that's what I'm concentrating on right now. I've been concentrating on this since like the day after our last video mm -hmm. um, because, well that's for later, right? Yeah. Whips are, whips are later. We're finishing I mean, I think that. you're doing really well. I think you've come a long way. And I think also like words are something everybody tries to get through really quickly. I think it's the think. easiest part. Do you think yeah, it's, I, I think me, it's the easiest, but I think it's also extremely time consuming. I can whip words in just fine once I've got you know a direction where I'm going. Yeah. It's the like the, these trees had like snow in them, or they had berries in them, or I'm used to like just one color tree in a yeah. tree trunk, uh, like frosty forest. Yeah. Um, and things like that. So I had to really spend time on you know where is my thread going, what kind of thread, and comment below if you know how to organize your your floss because. I'm like flossing all over that. the place in this house. <laughs> we have like been saying that from like our first mania floss tube of like, I don't know how to organize our floss. Oh, I don't. Like this is great. We're trying to fill it up with like our projects as we go. This is what tech guy made for me. Um, you may not be able to see it. So nope. these, all these closed pins fall. Um, but you wrap them with your floss and then they hang on a nail right here on a picture frame and we're just like slow because of mania we haven't gotten it done yet but yep. slowly but surely this will get filled up with our floss and we label them and it will look really really nice um we just haven't haven't gotten that done but i think it's like a progression thing it's not an yeah. overnight thing i think when you no. kind of see it getting filled up it's like oh okay like a time lapse right yeah. it's not like we're trying to get this this done and one night, I think when yeah. you guys see the progression that we've made on this board, it's like, ah. Yeah, cool. we just fill it up as we need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. So okay. that is my only whip right now. Um, and I think that's, that's all I can say. Why is that blue color in there? What blue color? That, this blue right there. I'm not sure why I had a blue. Hmm. There's no blue. Anyway. Okay. Um, my whips. Um, so. I needed to be a mom this week more than I needed to be a quilter or even a stitcher. And so I didn't get a ton of progress done on either of those fronts this week. And I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm totally fine with that. Did it mean that I didn't meet some deadlines I needed to meet? Yes. But um, 
I mean, they're my kids. Like I need to do that more than I need to do this. Mm -hmm. And so um, I did get a little bit of stitching done this week, but I did not stay on track with mania at all. And I'm okay with that. I am gonna treat this coming week as catch up from last week. So every day I'm gonna do what I had planned for last week and then just sprinkle in what I can of this current week. And right. I'm gonna be fine with that. I think it's, it's part of mania, right? You yeah. make your own rules and you kind of change it up when life happens. And yeah. um, we've, we've had some nights that we looked at each other and like, we're toast. We're not staying up tonight. Yeah. Um, and we'll, you all know that as a parent, like yeah. some days the kids go to bed and you're just done. You're done with that day. <laughs> and we've had several of those days this week. It was and good. So, it's nothing bad. Just, no. we, you know, no. the kids have been out playing and mm -hmm. enjoying nature and things like that. And yeah. We, just, we went to my mom and dad's and I got a lot of the, the, what I did get done stitching wise this week. I got done the majority at my mom and dad's and that was because they have a huge um, tree filled yard where with lots of shade and things and I was able to like sit and watch them play and get a little bit of stitching done. I got very little stitching done at our homeschool conference but I did get a little bit in there and so I'll share that with you but as far as mania like that's okay. I yeah. mean I, anyway we're yeah, gonna I stop think, talking about it. It's okay. It's I think, fine. I think the world's not gonna end because I did not stick to my schedule this week on mania. Oh and no. You, it, no it you won't. may need to hear that like you may need to hear I think that. I was we were okay. watching another floss tuber, um, you know, how the history of mania mm. or what has been called the history of mania, you know, the first 15 days was like 15 starts, right? Mm -hmm. um, and people just do it whatever now. Yeah. And I think that is just seeing another floss tuber saying, hey, do what you want or mm -hmm. pick up, uh, you know, working in product, progress. I think we saw another video today um, that a lady put like uh, floss how'd she say it floss in her uh ada once a day and she's been working on it for eight oh, months she worked one strand of floss every day so it's that's just what she of, could do and that's what she did and that's great and she's doing great it's yep. fine it's it there are no rules it is the exact same thing in the quilting world there are literally no you like no rules you just call don't it let people shame you into thinking well, you didn't do enough or you didn't do that right or anything like I, I don't hope. get me on my soapbox because I will go there and we will be here for an hour and 30 minutes. That would so. be our longest video. <laughs> All right. Let me get into my whips. Yes. So I did uh, work a little bit on vintage Christmas sampler. Guys, these are so adorable. This is cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I got the candy canes done. Like, candy canes. I mean, adorable. Okay, I got this gingerbread done. He just doesn't have his buttons. And you did it individual ornaments. I'm doing individual ornaments right. for Christmas in July. Yep. Because we're going to hang them. And then um, I just have part of the border done on this one. And if you don't have these, like, they're totally worth it. They're so, so adorable. It's a neat concept. And all I did was I cut down a big piece of lamb's wool into 12 different sections and gave them plenty of border so I can finish them however I'm gonna finish yeah. them as ornaments. And I'm probably gonna do pillows. Like, um, they did a, um, I think Lori Holt actually did a tutorial on how she finished hers into pillows. And I think I'll probably do it like that because I liked that. Why not? Yeah, I really liked that. So that is what I'm gonna do for that. That's so cool. Yeah, so I worked on that. If you will put stuff back in there sure. as I go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, my next one that I worked on was Santa's Village. And I worked on Gingerbread Emporium. Now, I told you we have the whole set of Santa's Village. And so um, these will definitely be my focus in the coming months to get some of these done. So this is Gingerbread Emporium. I know y'all can't see it very well, but if you click the link in our description, you're going to be able to see it so much better. Yep. So I worked on that just a tad. I got all my floss um, wound on each of my um, clothespins. So now these guys will just hang up here as soon as I am ready. Boop. For, boop. <laughs> ready for that. So I got Santa's Village done a little bit. And if you're and not familiar with what she's doing this month for Mania, just kind of a, uh, a, yeah. a, a back step. She did 30 projects. Mm -hmm. uh, 31 projects in 31 days. So I did 16 cross stitch and 15 quilt days. Yeah. It was um, 
four quilt projects split up into 15 days. So when she says that she didn't meet her deadlines, ladies and gents, like she did a phenomenal job on balancing Aww. a lot of these things out. And nice. I, I'm not paid to say that. I'm just here. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm working on Merry Christmas idea, but when she's like, hey, I didn't have time, she really made, when she had time, she really just like, yeah. put her, her headlights on and like, nose down, right? And so I think I eclipse. got maybe like 50 stitches in this And you one. know what? That's a start. But it's a start. It's a start. And that's all. And that's, I mean, that's that's, okay. anyway, that's we're not going to talk about it anymore because it's totally fine. <laughs> so I got the um, cloth cut up for that for yep. like future, um, future Santa's Village. Yep. So got that one done. My next one I worked on is Ready, Set, Snow from Hands On Design. This one, I keep like wanting to hold it up there to you guys. No, out of focus. And I know it's out of focus. Um, so Ready, Set, Snow, I got that done or got that started. I'm putting it on chalkboard black. And so, um, here And what is, is different from what we uh, talked about earlier, what you're doing on your, your floss versus So that. I'm doing two strands of uh, DMC. I use the loop method for absolutely everything. And so I use one strand doubled to loop in for a start. And so this is, um, this is two strands of DMC where Tech Guy's been doing all four strands on his two projects he's working on right now going forward he's going to use two strands yeah i'm going to try it out um, for a couple of different reasons but we have a lot of projects we're going to be starting together and we want them to look consistent Uniform. so um but y'all know which ones are hers and which ones are mine though yes so ready set snow i have everything all on my clothespins in my little project bag and um yeah loving that I love these project bags. Like I was concerned right they might be like right a here. little bit too small. Some of them might be too big. Like I love them. That's why we did a tutorial for you guys so that you could make your own. Make your own. And I, I very specifically told you how you could make bigger or smaller sizes in this bag. And so, um, I mean, it's head on over there if you decide you want to make yeah, your project bag. Link. He'll right put here. in a link and it'll show you how I made that one and how I made the larger ones, which I don't have any right here. They're up in no, that way shelf. Up. Okay, my next one that I needed to start, which I have not started yet. So those were the two I worked on this week. Um, my next one is going to be um, Quaker Tree. <laughs> I know I'm talking so funny, I'm sorry. So this is gonna be Quaker Tree and it's just going on white with shelt and that's pretty fun i like it I like it's only that. got two colors of green on white which is super fun oh that's gonna be really okay cool. so this next one is a project for me for this coming week in mania i have not showed it to you other than like what we're doing for mania and i'm so pumped about it it is snowflake tree Okay, and they did it on this beautiful, let's see, what is this? Um, I don't know if it says what. I don't think it calls for it. Well, I'm looking to see if it says what, um, what they, oh, I'm sorry. They used a 28 count stony point linen. So that's like this beautiful, like tealish color with, um, icicle as the week's dye work. Um, um, yeah floss <laughs> it's, been a long, it's been a long week so i am working this on the most beautiful red ada i've ever seen because i've only ever seen this red ada it is called christmas red y'all it's awesome like, it's blowing out on camera because it's that amazing and i had reached out to kimberly at fat quarter shop and i was like i can't find red ada anywhere to where like I could buy it like no I couldn't find it anywhere and at that point I didn't know about like keepsakes and all that stuff to where I could go and get these things and um I mean I knew about keepsakes but like I didn't know I could call and order it over the phone and they would mail it to me sure and so I reached out to Kimberly and I was like I can't find this anywhere and she's like yeah 
hang on. And give me a couple of days. <laughs> give me a couple of days. She emailed me back within like a couple of hours and she found it at Witch Hell. And so they've stocked it. And so you guys can head over there and buy it all. Because Don't buy it all because I want to buy some more. <laughs> but um, so it's all loaded up in my project bag and it's beautiful. Yep. I love, I very really bright, do love it. Very bright, very Christmas. Not, mm -hmm. not like a brick red, but just like a... I don't know. No, it's called Christmas red. Yeah, Christmas red, not a brick red. I'm just trying to Perfect. I was trying to give it like a, a brighter red. Yes. Okay, my next project I'll be working on this week is hands-on design automaker farm. And um, I'm gonna start this now. And then in August, we're gonna do autumn August. So the month of August, I'm gonna focus on this and maybe a couple of other fall we'll projects start fall early and start um fall are you kidding august is not early for me i decorate for fall well, like in our weather it may be fall because we didn't get spring that's true we i love spring. to decorate for fall yes. not more than i love to decorate for christmas but i do love to decorate for fall yep and so i've got that in my project bag ready to go i'm using um witch out chalkboard black and then the called for dmc colors yep the it's called for um classic color works and well, it's got classic color works, weeks dye works. That has different ones in there. Yeah, it has some different ones, but I just converted them all to DMC. Um, they give you all the conversions for that. Is there like a chart? So then, yes. Oh, okay. So then my last, um, my last cross stitch for Mania is going to be Easter Whimsies, and um, I think this is so adorable. And it's just four little um, pillow looking things. They did them, I think, as little pen keeps in a ruler case. So I've got that ready to go. I'm doing that on Witch Elt White as well. Yep. So that is my last cross stitch one. So I'll be working on all of those, getting all of these started this week and um, working hard on those. And then for quilting, I told you all last week I was behind on this and I'm still behind on it. It's okay. And um, this is, um, let me get it open. I, th I don't think I showed you the pattern very well last week. So this is Riley Blake Designs, Sweet and Simple Row by Row Sew Along featuring Simple Goodness by Tasha Noel. And so this is the quilt I will be working on this week. So, yes. So it's super, super cute. The fabric yeah. is absolutely adorable. Starching it has been a dream. It's, I mean, it's wonderful. So um, I'll be getting each of those rows started this week. So that has been our whips. Yes. Yes. I've not done anything outside of mania. I've just been focusing on that this, right. this month. It's kind of what we were kind of planning on doing this this month. Is yeah. just something different from the norm yeah. um, and just trying to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. And not just the same old thing over and over again. Yeah. So yeah. we really wanted to do something together um, as, a, as a, like a team project. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I guess I kind of jumped the gun and we talked about my plans for next week instead of just whips. So, right. Sorry. I skipped over your finishes. Do you want to go over that? Yes. He's so excited, you guys. We need to celebrate. Show him some love in the comment section because yes. this is his very first ever cross-stitch finish and he is completely pumped. I'm done. Frosty Look how good it looks. is done. Mm -hmm. Finished. Not framed, but finished. Um, I was so excited. Amazing. I was so excited to get it finished. Like the like a day after our last video, I was like going hard in the paint, trying to get this taken care of. I, and I was. It just looks so, like on this navy. We were right to do it on the navy. Huh. You were right to do it on the That's navy. That's right. I had. Some I was right. Reservations. Doesn't happen. Oh, really. that border. It's done. It looks so good. And I think. Doing with darker Ada really pops things out. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Because I think if I did it anything different, it would just look weird. Yeah. Um, I want to get you the other ones in Frosty Force in the collection. I did not know it was a series. Mm -hmm. Mind blown. Um, so Frosty Forest, thank you for joining me for my first ever complete stitch. Yeah. So I am we super were so excited. For him. Uh, I don't really have an idea what to frame it or what to finish it. It's not really on my top 10 things to worry about right now. Yeah. Um, right now it's Merry Christmas, my dear. And that's what my, can we jump into plans? Sure. That's yeah, because I already did it. Uh, my plan the next 48 hours, I might do 24 hours and <laughs> 48 hours starting tonight. Uh, I know we've got a couple videos that we've got to do. 
um, and trying to get that uh, in our timeline. But I am literally sitting on this couch. Earlier today, I was sitting on this couch just with this light on, <laughs> and I'm trying to stitch away. So yes. I'm, I'm trying to get things done. If so. you saw our studio in real life, um, it looks crazy because we have filming lights that hang from the ceiling yep. all the time. And it's, they're really good cross stitch lights. Yes. So he'll come in here and turn on the lights while I'm stitching or sewing or doing whatever. Just have a conversation like yeah. we were mostly, mainly today it's about our plans. Yeah. And the upcoming weeks. Yeah. Okay. So um, we didn't have any haul this week. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. I don't know where we would find time to do a haul. <laughs> right. Right. Um, oh, wait. That's a lie. I guess I bought like three things of floss from our local quilt store and I bought like a little needle, the thing to make a, like a flower petal needle case and each section, I think it has six sections, each, each section I'm going to keep like different brands of needles that I okay. try. And so I'm pretty excited about that. So, I've, I've just been on I one, that, one brand. It was just small. I think I've been on just one brand. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about mail call because it is piling up over here for things that um, it's like collecting dust yeah so we're gonna get through it really quick first off i want to talk about um when i started norm and nanette the first day i started it um i know not only am i talking weird but i'm also drooling so <laughs> hopefully you can't see that because i'm sitting right next to her um i think i talked about this a little bit the uh the day i started norm and nanette the day i was starching my iron broke. I have a Panasonic wireless iron. It's the best thing ever. Perfect for quilting, especially if you go on a lot of retreats and things like that. And it just decided it wasn't going to hold its water anymore and pee all over my fabric all the time. <laughs> and it was so frustrating. So I was kind of like panicked because you can't, I mean, yeah, you can run out to like big box stores and grab an iron, but I didn't want to waste money on it when I could like buy, like, Put money towards a better iron right so i remember that when i was at our local quilt sh quilt shop um they had a sleep in your own bed retreat a few like maybe two months ago i used an iron there that i really liked and so i go through my email and lo and behold they've emailed me and so we had a little bit of communication back and yep. forth and they sent me an iron and i've been using it for a few weeks and i love it um, so this is the Reliable Company Iron. This is Ve the Velocity 200 IR. It's a mammoth. It's huge. Um, yeah. I love it for its steam. Yes. I do not love it if you can't use steam. Um, but if you can use steam, it really crisps your fabric nicely. It presses your fabric really, really well. It's got a lot of good weight to it, so you're definitely Thing's not huge. only are you pressing well, but like the weight behind the press is amazing. It comes with like a super awesome um, like weight, like little jug to fill your water, so you're not getting your water everywhere. And um, I've just really, really liked this. Yes. So you'll start seeing this in videos. They're going to send us their new model next month, and we'll kind of look at that. Sorry, it's my computer going off. Um, you will kind of see this and our new model coming out um, next month. Yep. So we're pretty excited about that. Okay. Um, the next thing we got, we got a box from Fat Quarter Shop um, just saying like, hey. Uh, what's up? What do you like on our What's New page? And so um, we picked out some things and they sent us some things that we did not pick out, but they thought we would really like. Sure. So the first thing first, uh, last floss tube we talked about at Keepsakes, we picked out a series from Little House Needleworks that we wanted to start doing ourselves. It was a Christmas village. It is called Hometown Holidays and they sent us all of the charts for that except, what did we decide? Except nine. for number nine. We do not have chart number nine. But we'll figure it out. We've yes. got some time. So nine, Yeah, we nine, have nine. some time. And so, um, I'm just making sure. We're not, yeah, we're something. not nervous about that. We have yeah a lot more yes so, so there are 16 charts in this 16 17 17 17 charts in this series and we have all of them now but number nine and so we are really excited to get that so he and i can start stitching together together on that working yeah. on that series together which is so nice we really like to do those things together yes so the next thing they sent us is um a new product that they have coming out 
Let me get them for you. They're huge. These are not only great for quilters, but they could be great for cross stitchers. And I say that because I, um, I don't know what the popular opinion is, but I've always starched my Ada before I've used it. I've never used linen on cross stitch, and I've been cross stitching since I was like little, little. And my grandma taught me to starch my Ada, so I've just kind of like kept doing that. And when you fold it up and put it in your project bag, then it gets folded. When you, you know, stitch in hand or stitch in your cue snap, then it creases all that stuff. So these are great to go ahead and lay your, um, um, these are felt or fleece. They are I'm so blanking on words right now. They're great to lay your um, Ada or your linen on and then see if your floss colors match up Ooh. or, and just kind of stack Design them. Design board. Yeah, so it is a design board. They are meant for quilters, but I can definitely see uses for them in the cross stitch world. Yep. So the this is their 10 by 10 size. Different colors. Different colors, which I love. And they stack on top of each other super well. Good variety. Yep, so I love that. So we have multiple projects going on at the same time. Yes. You True. got these. Okay, and then we got three of their Good 14 night. by 14 size. These are mammoths. Mm -hmm. They're pretty big. They're huge. Yep. These are great for me for, as a quilter to lay out my quilt blocks. If I pre-design them or pre-cut them, then I can just lay them out. And they're great for on the go. I cannot wait to start taking these to um, retreat. What about these? Stuff. You gonna take these on the go? These are not on the go. These are stay <laughs> in your stitching room and never leave again ones. Those are and huge. And these are 18 by 18. They're huge. So these are Be In My Bonnet, designed by Lori, Lori Holt. Holt. They're design boards that Riley Blake Designs puts out and um these are awesome so the 18 by 18 size is definitely great Cute. if you have a small like let's say that you have like a closet or something very small in your home that you use as your crafting station this is phenomenal this 18 by 18 board because then you can put it on the floor put your clip block on it and then stack it away they're really thin they're just foam core so like i mean they're really thin they'll slide anywhere or if you have a space that you can't uh, have the luxury of leaving your stuff out. Yes. This would be awesome. Yeah, that's something, what I. Yeah. yeah. Something that's of a portable. Yeah. Um, or if you're going on a you know a stitching retreat or a convention or yep. something like that, it's there. Yes. Okay. The next thing that we snatched, and I'm pumped about this. I told you all. I alluded to it earlier. We got a half yard bundle of Sweet Christmas by Urban Chicks for Moda um fabrics this thing's huge and this thing is huge it is a half yard cut half yard cut bundle and this is what we'll be making our christmas quilt for our backdrop of christmas in july and it has the cutest vintage snowmen you are not going to be able to see them very well right now I'll put on the link. i want you to go down and click the link below and go look at this fabric i saw it in person on friday uh, my local quilt store no, Saturday morning. My local quilt store had a, hey, we're back from market party and they're celebrating their 40th um, birthday as a shop. And so I saw it, they had um, a sample from Moda there, the sample quilt. They had it in the shop on Saturday and I was so excited. This fabric is beautiful. You all are going to love it. Love you are going feel. to love this vintage Christmas fabric yeah. it's absolutely adorable so i want you to go click on it and look at all the different prints because this is gonna be cute and we're gonna be making um a really adorable christmas yes. quilt with that yes okay so that was in that box from them then we got a little package and um i'm sure that you all have seen this pattern before this is so she did cross stitch pattern yep uh this was designed by Lori holt put out by it's so emma and so they're going to be starting a um so along with this and so they sent us a couple of these so that we have a future giveaway yes so we've got these you can get these they are from Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet um, in celebration of creative women everywhere who make great things and make things happen based on Lori's quilt pattern of the same name the cross stitch um, design features a vivacious vintage sewing machine an iconic tomato pin cushion snippy scissors and a whirling thread adorned with the quote she believed she could so she did so you can get this at fat quarter shop for $9.98 um, or you can watch some future floss tubes and we will give these away yep so boom we got that future giveaways I love that yeah it gets me all 
yeah. Gets me I want to give back to you guys. You guys choose to spend your time with us. Yep. And I just appreciate that so much. We like doing it. We love doing it. Um, the next thing I've showed to you before, it was actually, was it on my must-haves for Christmas list? It was on the must-haves, and I know it was brought up on a, a couple other um I've talked about boxes. this a lot. I've talked about this a lot. So, so. these are the stash and stores. Um, I'm going to open this one because it will be easier to show you. I have a stash and store. I gave my mom a stash and store for Christmas this year. Like, I love the stash and store. Yep. So this is just um, an organizational thing, and um, it's just called a stash and store. It has all of these silicone holes in it. And so what this is intended to do, this comes out so you can clean it if you need to, because they get yucky. It is intended to hold whatever you want it to beside your sewing machine, beside your computer, beside anything you really need it to. If you have a stitching chair, you've got all your stuff in here. I put several pairs of scissors, I put all of my marking tools for fabric in here. I mean, I use this for A lot, everything. in arm's reach, right? So everything. it's not just sprawled out on the desk. These are phenomenal for you to take to retreat yep. because you are constantly losing. You you know, usually at a retreat, you just have a small little area you're working in. Things can get lost very easily or um, under a pile. And these are great because they can just, um, you know, you can put everything right in there. So they have three new colors and they have purple, the lime green and the white. Yes. And so we love these. Yeah. We love these. We've We're got a couple of them. Maybe yeah, we gifted them to your your mom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The next thing stitching is my cardio, also from BMI Bonnet. It's a little project bag. Yep. Yep. It's a it's a pretty cool project bag. Yeah. Um, the next thing is um, a little. This is our last of Fat Quarter Shop's mail call. This is just the Stitching with the Housewives project yep. bag. So we did get that. And it's a nice little canvas bag. It is see-through. Like you can, if you hold oh, it up really? to the light, you can see okay. through it. So this is Stitching um, with the Housewives. It looks it's exactly like, like their shirt. And the nice thing about this bag is that it has a zipper top, which I do like that. Can um, close it? So. Ta-da. There we go. Awesome. And it's got a little pocket on the inside. It's a canvas bag. I would not say it's as great of quality as the um, stitch, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. Yeah. I would tell I'm you. I'm looking at it. I yeah, just can read it. Just my completely honest opinion because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your money that you're spending yep. off of my, I mean, if you're taking a suggestion from us. I personally like the quality of the eat, stitch, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. repeat. It is a little bit thicker. And so you, if you have to choose between the two, I would definitely go with that one. Yep. Um, but I like that one. I it's like that it style. zips, and it's a little bit bigger. And it's, it's like the. It uh, is a different style. And it's for like sure. a, a chalk, uh, a chalk feel. Not feel like itself, but like the design is like yeah, a chalk. Yeah, the design board. is like a chalkboard. Yep. Yep. Okay, this next one I'm super excited with you. Or with I'm super excited with you. We're yeah. all excited together. Let me take a drink because words are not coming out. <laughs> oh man. That is life. Okay. Um. So. The next thing we got a couple of weeks ago and we could not share with you until the appropriate time yes. and now we can. And um, I left one part over there, but that's okay. So Alpha has come out with some amazing new products for this year. And um, this is the Magnetic Touch Knife. And so it's just a great little box opener. As you all know, we have a whole week on our channel of just quilting subscription unboxings. We are hoping to add some cross stitch ones in there so that if you are looking for maybe like, oh, I don't really know if I should join this subscription package or this subscription box or right. do this monthly thing, we've done that for you and that's all in one week. And so these are gonna be great for opening up those boxes. It comes with two in one package and it is magnetic so I can stick it on the side of my Ikea cart and I know where it is all the time. Yep. The next thing is I loved when we asked you all a few weeks ago for you to comment down below what other crafts you are into besides cross stitch. And a lot of you came out of the woodworks and you were like, oh, I a love lot. to do cricket. I love to do um, bead making. I love to do jewelry. There were so many woodworking. There were so many awesome. different things. I love this creative community. I love it. It's absolutely draining sometimes, but I absolutely love this creative community because we're all bringing some different craft to the table. Like, honestly, everybody's doing something completely different, but we're all doing it together and loving it. Yeah. 
So with all that being said, Alpha has come out with a new beginner quilters kit that you, everything you need to be able to cut fabric what? as a beginner. And it's in this beautiful new um, navy blue color. That's awesome. I know there's gonna be glare on this plastic packaging and I'm sorry. I did not wanna open this before I showed it to you. So this is, let's say you're just like, oh, I kinda wanna dabble in quilting. Like I really love Kia and Tech Guy and I think I'm gonna watch some of their quilting um, tutorials and maybe try a few. Guys, this is the package. So this is, and like they're not paying me to say this. I hope nope. you all know that. Like this is actually something they just sent to us and I wouldn't review it unless I do love it. And like Alpha is basically all I use for cutting my fabric now. So in here, let me tell you, in here you have a um, 12 by 18 cutting mat. That's and awesome. this is important because cutting fabric on a rotary mat is so much easier than cutting with scissors. You're gonna get exact same cuts every single time as long as you measure twice and cut only once. So then we've got um, a ruler in here as well that is six inches by 12 inches perfect size and it goes on top of your mat really well yep. and then you've got a rotary cutter and this is their alpha splash and it's in the new blue color yep so um every year they come out with a different alpha splash and this year it's blue the whole theme is blue we also got an ergonomic um rotary cutter as well so one that looks more like a pizza cutter where you squeeze it and go i've been using that basically forever um, since they sent it, I've not stopped using it and I love it. I have never used an ergonomic one and it like changed my cutting experience. I've seen it over there being used. Yes. Not used right now, but she's been using it. Right. So if you're like maybe on the fence and you're like, I don't know, I don't know. This is totally worth it because it's everything you need right here. Like literally the only thing you need after this is a sewing machine, a pattern and fabric and thread. And you, I know when you're shopping and you're trying to dabble if, yes. I mean, we met some friends, uh, you know, Payment staff uh, was like a couple weeks ago, and mm -hmm. uh, they're big cross stitch people. And um, they're like, Well, we're not really familiar with quilting. Like, if you're wanting to dabble into that, this yeah. is a good beginner. And when you go mm -hmm. out to like Amazon or other things, you're like, Well, I gotta get all these materials, I have to start this whole thing, this new packages get up. like that, like little kits like little that. Little kits like wonderful. that is super, super great, but mm -hmm. you don't know what you're going to get. And mm -hmm. again, you know, Ulfa's not like telling us we have to like give them rave reviews but they've been working with us for the last three years mm -hmm. um and their stuff is phenomenal and we don't say that lightly yeah um and we have had this stuff before we started this channel uh we've had stuff like that all the time so it's mm -hmm. really cool that they trust us to kind of share that with you guys um in this so it's a great partnership if one one thing that floss tube and um has really taught us and we've only been doing it a couple of months is that y'all like want our opinion on products and I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. Right. I don't want to take advantage of your time or your money in any way, shape or form. So if I tell you, Hey, I think you could really purchase this and get good value out of it. I want you to understand that that's actually what I'm saying. Yeah. Because when we started this, we, like we're using the bare minimum of things because that's what we had, that's what we could afford. That's still what we can afford. And so when I say I purchased this, like, I mean- We purchased it. We purchased it, right. we use it, we love it. I, I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. But we're not here so, to bash anything either. No, so, absolutely. Yeah, it's no, not, absolutely. It's not I'm like never that. gonna tell you don't buy this specific thing yeah, because it's here, no. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, if we get stuff and I don't like it, you'll never see it, just to be quite honest. I think people pick that up, so. Yeah, okay. So, that's all of our mail. Yes. All of our mail calls, so we got a lot. I know we were really heavy on promoting some things this week, and I apologize for that. But, um. We got it in the mail, so we've gotta say something. Yeah, <laughs> right, it's we mail got, call. It's mail call. It's mail call. Okay, so let's do something super fun. I mean, mail call is super fun. Yes. But let's do su something super fun for you guys. Ooh. Yes, so last week we had a giveaway. I loved seeing all your answers of your local needlework stores and yes. your local quilting stores. It was really several an eye-opener. Yeah, it was, several of you don't yeah. have one anywhere near. So we have an LQS, but I don't have an LNS next um, anywhere around us. I have tried, I even we tried do. on Saturday. We have an hour and a half. I even tried on Saturday talking my LQS into becoming part LNS. She's not going for it. She's not. I even offered to help and no. Mm -mm. Sorry. Um, but you know. no, it's totally fine. 
We have keepsakes that's just around the corner. Uh, so, um, anyway, I was very surprised. Um, super, super overwhelmed by the amount of people who are using like Fat Quarter Shop yep. and Missouri Star. That was really interesting. So that tells me that y'all don't hate when we review things from Fat Quarter Shop all the time. That's cool. And so we'll keep doing that. I mean, as long as you guys love that. Yep. Um, and you guys seem to be ordering from them a ton. So um, that's really great. It's so great. we'll continue to do that. So um, I loved seeing and reading all your comments from that. And so we are giving away this wonderful sewing machine um, stitched, what is this called? Stitched with Love from um, Thimble Blossoms from McKimmy, no, not from- <laughs> I think this happened no, last time. Yes, <laughs> from Camille Ross Kelly. And you guys, this is like our number one question on the- What's, floss, what's with the mini the, quilt behind you? What's the, yes. the mini what's, quilt behind you? What's that sewing machine quilt behind yep, you? What yep. is that? This what is, is it. that? This, this is, is it. it. Yes. So, um, we are giving away this with a um, Omni Grid Omni Grip ruler and a small fat quarter bundle that will make um, this with some scraps. And so we were giving away this quilting bundle, and the winner is. Ooh, what is the winner? I know, Janetta Derringer. If we and butchered it, we're sorry. I know. I'm so sorry if I didn't get that right. So this goes to Janetta Derringer, and we will comment on our video from last time so that you know. Just click the uh, link in the description down below. You have one week to um, send us an email with your shipping information, and uh, we will get this out to you. So and I'm super excited to give that I've away. looked at some of the emails passed from winners. Like, y'all don't believe we're doing it. We're doing it. We're yeah. giving them away. This is yeah. not like I'm sending it to my oh cousin. Oh my goodness. So like, it's, Susan, it's a legit thing. Yes. Susan from last week. I could not believe that we pulled Susan. <laughs> Honestly, when I do the random comment generator from YouTube, like, I just pull it. And it pulled up Susan Glenn, and I was, like, completely dumb. I thought, no, people are going to think that's that I didn't really do that. Yeah. It's legit. We actually pick random. I legit picked a random person and it gave me the person that went into keepsakes a few days after us and couldn't believe, like she was so excited that we went to her LNS. Yes. And so I Small just world. couldn't, like how, how, how does that happen? It happens. So anyway, so we are so excited to do giveaways and we'll be really excited to do them again for our stitch along or yeah. any floss tubes or anything like that. I mean, we just, we just want to give back and you guys are spending yeah. time with us and uh, you guys are, you know, just part of our kind of like a stitching and quilting family. Yeah. Um, so we appreciate it and we want to just kind of give back to y'all. Yeah. So, um, Janetta, you are going to get this. And you'll and, love it. Um, you're going to love it. It's so cute. People I love it. People are going to be envious of yes. this project because this is like the most asked question in our comments since day one. True. When we launched this thing three years ago. This is it. Yes. So, yeah. this is it. So, we're super excited. So, if last week was a quilting bundle, what does that mean this week is? Stitching bundle. Stitching bundle. Hey, I got it this time. Yes. So we would love to give one of the Home for the Holidays by Sue Hillis Designs. We would love to give one of the charts and all the coordinating DMC floss to one of you all to start stitching with us. We have several of these charts that we're going to be giving away in the few coming of weeks. And so um, this is going to be the first one and we're really excited. So it doesn't mean that every time we're going to give away the, the chart and the floss, but this time we are because we it's just so special and fun for us. And so um, we're going to, um, yeah, this is what we're going to be giving away. I already have all the DMC floss uh, bagged up and ready to go. And so that's going to go to our winner um, as soon as we pick one next week. And if y'all ordered it and you want it, pass it on to a friend of yours. Yes, absolutely. Like more the merrier. Eh? Yes, if you already like ordered it and you want to still enter the giveaway, enter it. for a friend. You can keep the DMC and give the chart to them. Yeah. I'm not gonna, here's why I'm not sending cloth along with it. I don't ever want to assume that you are doing everything I'm doing. So I am gonna do this on Ada. Stephanie is pushing so hard for me to do stuff on linen. I'm gonna do this on Ada. You might want to do this on linen. Or if I do something, something finally on linen, you might want to do it on Ada. I'm never going to assume otherwise. So I'm going to send you this and the floss, and you can do with what you whatever want. linen yeah. or Ada you want to. So I'm super excited about I'm so pumped about this stitch along, guys. Like, so pumped. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment down below. 
and I want you to tell us if you're gonna do the stitch along with us yes and I know there's so many other stitch alongs going on so please don't feel terrible if you just can't yeah it's fine if you just can't like financially there's so many stitch alongs yeah, going on not everybody can do all of them and so comment down below if you are going to stitch along with us if you're not tell us what you are going to be working on in the month of july and if you want to do something christmas and we'll just have like a fun christmas party all oh, yeah. the month of july it's such a great idea yeah so comment down below definitely at the end of your comment this is so important because some people comment and don't know about the giveaway some people comment and don't really want the giveaway so at the end of your comment, if you want to be entered, please say stitch along bundle. Okay? Very so, precise. Home for the holidays. Super pumped about it. Yeah, we're excited to do another journey. I think, um, and this, these ideas are coming naturally. It's not like we're yeah. pondering upon hours and trying to figure this out. It's literally just coming naturally. Mm -hmm. um, we're just doing things we want to do. And it's organically. Yeah, right? we it's wanted not, we to do want a to project do bag tutorial for you and create that. I'm not the first person to ever do a project bag. Mm -hmm. I'm not the last person who will ever put up a tour tutorial for a project bag. Oh. But we did it. Yeah. I'm not the first person who's going to stitch along with someone. And, you you know, he's not. Well, this will be his first stitch it along. It will be my first stitch but, along, guys. <laughs> but, um, you know. But it won't be my last. We're just having fun with this, and that's what we need to keep in the forefront of yeah, our brain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But if you guys have any questions, comments. comments yeah. Um, we've Snag even got, remarks. Well, email those. <laughs> Not everyone wants to see, everyone wants to see that. Yes. Um, but I think so. uh, we've had a couple of viewers uh, you know, emailing us and a couple of things. I appreciate you guys reaching out. Um, yeah. You know, uh, it makes our heart warm when other people are kind of yeah. uh, encouraging, encouraging and, and things yeah. like that. So yeah. no worries. Yeah. You know, uh, but we are super excited to do these videos with you. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to integrate this in our, in our new schedule. And, you know, some things we've planned, it just didn't work out. And there's some things that we've planned and just like took over. Right. Yeah. And we kind of knew that May uh, for Mania was going to be like our thing this month. Um, I know several people are saying, hey, we can't wait for you to do unboxings. We can't wait till you guys do um, tutorials. tutorials. Mm -hmm. Like, we hear you. We, yeah. I promise we hear you. We're going to get it all together. Yeah. So uh, this is more of an experiment, and it worked very well for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very fun for us, and it was like the first team up we've had. Yeah. So I loved it. Yeah. We got two more days. Yeah. A few more days of Mania. And then June will start, and 24 hours of cross stitch will be here way before we even know it. So, uh, we are going to try and upload again on the first, so you might see us here in just a couple of days. Don't panic, it's totally fine. It's fine. And it's totally fine if you see your subscriptions completely flooded from us this week as we are entering into unboxing week, which, I, like I said, on our yeah. channel is where we are just going to unbox a ton of subscription boxes. And so, that's this week. So don't be alarmed. It's normal. It's normal. I mean, we're, we <laughs> yes. pushed back a little things. Uh, we pushed back some things. Yeah. So, so we are. We're super excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let us know if you have any questions. We love to continue the conversation down below. Thank you so much for spending this hour with us. I know we've probably come close to some type of hour. And so thank you so much for spending that time with us. It is a long, long time for you to spend with a YouTuber and we appreciate that very very much and Genuinely. we do not take it lightly no so no. thank you all right we all have a great week and we will see you in a few days bye bye